So we saw in the last video that we can name the strings by number, but we can also name them by the note that we tune that string to. And very quickly, what those are from 6 to 1 are E, A, D, G, B, E. String 6 is E, 5 is A, 4 is D, 3 is G, 2 is B, 1 is E. And there are several different mnemonics you can use to help remember that. You can download uh, a sheet from my website, link in the description box, to give you some ideas on how to remember those. Okay. But what if we rearrange those notes into a bit more of a familiar order? Then we have A, B, D, E, and G. Just missing two letters to give ourselves the first seven letters of the alphabet. And there we have what we call the musical alphabet. These are the seven notes that exist in music. And there are no others. There are no H or I's or J's. Just A, B, C, D, E, F, G. After G, we're back at A again. Okay, so it's a nice idea to think of this as basically in a circle. It just continues round and round and round in either direction. If we go clockwise around the circle, then the notes are getting higher in pitch. So if we go E, F, E, F, G, after G will come A, that's higher. So A is above G, B, C, D, it carries on. Or we can go the other way around. We can go anti-clockwise. And so the notes go G, F, E, D, C, B, A. So below an A is the note G, F, and it carries on, carries on. So it's a good idea if you're familiar with the term of an octave. An octave for eight. Um, like octopus, eight limbs. An octave is eight, basically eight notes, eight letters, running A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. If you go from A, you go around to A, up or down, that is the distance of one octave, okay? That's true starting from any letter and going to the letter up or down. So C to C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Eight is an octave, okay? Get familiar with that, because that will come in useful. Okay, let's get this thing in tune.